Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Zach and welcome to the ZVP show. Today, we're going to be talking about investing. In my first video, I discussed the five ways to build wealth in 2020. And the first and best way to do so is by investing. So if you haven't seen that video yet, be sure to go check it out. Before we get started, I need you to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. There's a multitude of different ways to start investing, but today we're going to be primarily talking about 401k or individual retirement accounts, or otherwise known as IRAs. First, we're going to be discussing 401ks. So what is a 401k? A 401k is a company-sponsored retirement account that employees can contribute funds to. Only 56% of employers offer a 401k plan for their employees. 41% of employers offer a match from 0 to 6% and 10% of employers offer a match over 6%. The average 401k match for the United States is 3.5%. Most companies match contributions based off of what the employees put in. So if you put in 6%, they'll put in 3.5%. It's critical that you invest the minimum amount to get the full match. According to the latest data released by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average American household only saves $6,353 per year. That's a slim 8.6% of the average American household budget. So what would it look like if you invested $6,353 over the next 40 years? So let's say you're 25 and you don't plan on retiring until you're 65. If you put away $6,353 per year with a 3.5% match from your employer, 7% return from the market, which is average after inflation, your account would be worth $1.77 million that's due to compound interest. And even without the match, your account would be worth $1.315 million. So what if your company is one of the 44% that don't offer a company 401k? Well, there's still hope. There's things called individual retirement accounts or IRAs. The two most popular being traditional or Roth. There are many places to open up an IRA and it's super simple to do so. Check out NerdWallet for the recommended providers. Many of those have $0 account minimums to open and get started. Contribution limits are controlled by the IRS for individual retirement accounts, much like the 401k. For 2020, the most that you can invest is $6,000. Unless you're over the age of 50, then you can invest $7,000. In a traditional IRA, you pay the taxes once you withdraw. You can't start withdrawing until you're 59 and a half years old. A traditional IRA is best if you plan on being in a lower tax bracket than you are currently in when you go to retire. A Roth IRA is when you pay the taxes right now prior to investing so you're taxed at your current tax rate. A Roth IRA is best when you plan on retiring in a higher tax bracket than you're currently at. A Roth IRA has another advantage. Since it's post-tax dollars, you are able to remove any amount of money that you put in at any time without facing additional penalties. But this is only the amount of money that you put in, not any of the gains from investments. So what would it look like if we use the same numbers before to calculate the 401k? Let's say you start at 25, you max out the contributions of $6,000 per year, and you plan on retiring at 65, and you get a 7% return from the market after inflation. Your balance, if you contribute solely to a traditional IRA, would be $1.02 million. This assumes that you're married and also taxed at a 22% tax rate. If you contribute solely to a Roth IRA, your account would be worth $1.28 million at the end. While it initially looks best to only invest into a Roth IRA, it really depends on your current tax situation and what your tax situation will be like in retirement. I personally invest in both. No matter what, it's best to start investing today. As a quick recap, if your company offers a 401k, invest at least to get the full company match. If your company doesn't offer a 401k, be sure to cruise over to nerdwallet.com and check out their list of recommended providers for opening up an individual retirement account and open up one today. If you like videos like this one on how to build wealth and become more financially secure, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I release content every Tuesday and Saturday. Thank you all so much for watching and drop a comment below.